Metadata is the key to searching, and so getting your files enriched should be a critical part of your audio regimen. Let's look at what's available to you in the SoundMinder Basic and Plus products. I will note those features that are available in Plus only as I go along. Let's start with this raw set of files. These files have no metadata. I've organized them in folders, and you'll notice that in each folder I've added a JPEG because I know that when scanned, the artwork will be assigned to all the files in that folder. You can use GIF, JPEG, or PNG. And should you select an overly large picture file, the import process will auto-reduce it to stop you from making your files way too big. You can also add and null artwork from within the application, but we'll look at that later. Let's start with the best case text import scenario. I have here a text sheet in Unicode text format, although you can use CSV as well. Note that if you have accented characters, it's critical you use Unicode-based text or your accented characters will not come in properly. I have all my metadata organized. All the fields have been properly mapped to corresponding SoundMinor field columns. And I have a file name field that exactly matches what I have in my folders. All of these things are critical for this to work. Let's create a new database. By default, I always select music and effects because you can't alter the profile after the fact. And this gives me pretty well everything I would need. In the database menu, select import text. Find the text you wish to use. And then it'll ask you to find the source files that correspond. Select the topmost directory where the files reside. And if your text is accurate, you will see an error-free import complete with your metadata and artwork now added. Now having done all of this hard work, you need to embed it back into the file so you don't ever have to do this again. Embedding stores all the content you see here into the file, so if you ever have to rescan, it comes right back in. Embedding is as simple as selecting all, going into the database menu, and hitting Embed Selected. You must have write permissions to all the files, so it's a good idea to first check you have those privileges and a drive format that supports it. Let's also look at the text merge scenario. Now, this is an extra option in Plus, and it may be useful when you have some partial metadata and you don't want to lose it, but rather refine it and improve it, and you're more comfortable doing that in an existing spreadsheet application like, say, Microsoft Excel. Let's use this current state as a departure point. You can export your metadata back to text at any point. It's never locked into the system. The export follows a what you see is what you get kind of thing. So enable the fields you want to export and organize them in the way that you want. Go to the database menu and select dump results to text. This will create a Unicode text file that you can then name as you wish. And that text file can be opened up in just about any spreadsheet program. I'm on a Mac here, and I'm used to using Apple Numbers, but you could use Microsoft Excel as well. Here, as you see, is all the metadata output and displayed, ready for me to do further refinement. Note this first field, Rec ID. This must not be altered because it's the key that allows you to remerge. You can change any other field as you wish, including modifying the file name, and the Rec ID will make sure that when merged, everything lines up. I'll go ahead and start modifying this text. Now the reason to work in a spreadsheet editor in most cases is because it may be more familiar to you. You may know its tricks, or you may have the basic version which only allows limited in-app modification of the category and description field. So to do a whole lot more, you need to export to a spreadsheet like Numbers or Microsoft Excel. Okay, I've modified my text and I'm ready to remerge. In the application, call up the database if it's not already selected. I've selected to view the fields I know I've modified. Go into the database menu and select Remerge Text. Like the Import option, it will ask you to find the text that you want to use, but unlike Import, it's already scanned the files, so it applies it immediately to the existing files. Before the Remerge, the metadata looked like this. And now, with the Remerge, the metadata looks like this. Again, please embed to save your work. Because once it's embedded, it's this simple to bring it back.
Now, if you're a basic user, don't fret. You may not have Remerge, but you can use the exported text to make a new import sheet. Delete the Rec ID column as you won't need to remerge anything. And also be careful not to modify the file name because now the file name becomes your key. The rest of the fields you can modify and then re import into a brand new database. One final note adding artwork after the fact. You can add or overwrite existing artwork by selecting files, right clicking, and using the Assign Artwork option. When you embed, you overwrite what was there before. If you want to null artwork from a file, you can use the Clear Artwork from Selected option in the Edit menu. You can also drag and drop artwork right onto a selected file to add art to it. Until you embed it, it hasn't changed it at the file level. If you want to learn more about metadata, you can read our metadata initiative document on our site. Adding metadata is what powers a search engine, so having a good grasp of the possibilities here is critical. Let's begin with a set of files with little or nothing in them. Both Basic and Plus allow for improving your metadata through text import, which you've already seen. But Basic's in-app modifications of content is limited to manually editing the category and description fields. While hovering over a field, use the quick key E to edit, or right-click to bring up the submenu. This allows you to manually edit the content. In addition, you can select multiple items and do the same thing as a batch process. So let's pick a bunch of files, even discontinuously, and add a new category to all of them. Now let's do that for another field. I can also do the same to assign artwork. Select a bunch of files, go find a suitable GIF, JPEG, or PNG file, and it gets added to all those files selected. You can also drag and drop a picture onto the browser and it gets assigned to all the selected files. It's very simple yet very powerful, but it's only stored in the database until you embed. Remember that when you make a change, it isn't in the file until you run the embed routine. To help you further, there's an option in the database called Show Dirty. When clicked, it brings back all the records that have been modified but not embedded. So if you've made a modification, you can select this option and you can see quickly in your database all the things during your session that you've modified. Plus additionally allows you to edit any of the fields manually and it has a summary batch function as well. Summary batch allows me to leverage my unique entries in a field to assign them to a group of selected files instead of having me manually write them out multiple times. For example, I have a few files for which category information has been entered. I find a group of files, right click over the category field, and I can use the assign category option to see the list of my unique entries so far. Selecting any one of them applies to all the selected files. As you add new unique entries in a field, those options populate in the summary list. For example, let me add a new category and then revisit the list. As you can see, the new option has been added. I can do this for any summary field. and Summary fields are things like library, designer, composer, publisher, and so forth. What summary fields are not are those kinds of fields that are very unique, things like file name, path name, source. Summary fields are those fields that share common content. V5 Pro's workflow window is now standard on Plus. This is an incredibly powerful tool with a set of the most used metadata scripts, things like set, copy, append, prepend, find and replace, and more. They're all scripted into this pane and they can be set in a chain, allowing you to do complex functions in one go. As well, things that you do often can be saved and recalled as presets. In addition, you can use regex, a scripting language, for highly specialized modifications. 
Let me give you an example just to show you how powerful this is. Let's say I have some metadata that contains extraneous information that I want to separate out. Let's say a dash separates the two sections or the two groups of information. Regex allows me to create a script to identify all the characters up to the dash and all the characters within the rounded brackets as two separate groups. I can get rid of the second half and just keep the first half by using regex find and replace. Now I know this looks complicated, but it isn't as complicated as it seems. And if you go to regex101.com, you can teach yourself a lot. There's a ton to discover here for those who want to explore it in more depth.